and I don't know who I am. Or at least, I don't know. I understand that sounds a little strange, so let me give you some background. Around the end of the summer, to prepare for my high school interviews, my parents and I met with Dr. Joel. In that meeting, we had a very productive discussion about my high school choices and a great practice interview at the end of the meeting. I was feeling really excited and encouraged about my future. Towards the end of the interview, Dr. Joel asked me who I looked up to most in my life. I thought about the question for a while, and in the corner of my eye, I saw my parents' feet shuffle uncomfortably. Thinking back now, I should have thought about my parents. But despite this, I confidently responded, my cat. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm not obsessed with my cat. Instead, I said my sister. However, Dr. Dr. Joel kindly pointed out that I forgot to acknowledge my parents as significant figures in my life. This got me thinking about what family means and its importance to me as a whole. I first thought about my mom and my dad. They've always been there for me when I need them, and that's nothing in return. Thinking about this, I realized how luckily, lucky I am to have a family that supports and continues to support me after all these years. My parents taught me to read and write when I was three, because they wanted me to have the best chance to succeed when I began kindergarten. When I was born, my parents were determined to make my life turn out better than theirs, and despite how stubborn I can be, my parents still look out for me. My mom and dad have always pushed me to try my hardest and challenge myself. Three years ago, my dad found, a, found out about a program called Prepper Prep. Prepper Prep is a leadership development and gifted education program dedicated to expanding educational access to students of color. I took part in 14 months of study with two summer sessions and classes after school. At Prepper, I quickly made friends, and we often got together at Google Meets and worked on our work. When someone was stressed about the workload, we would be there to support them. I made many new friends with different backgrounds, but they were all similar to me in one way. They were all determined to make a change in their lives for the better. Not only did my friends help me, but so did my teachers in front. One teacher, in particular, challenged and pushed me. And at first, I became frustrated because I wasn't doing as well as I usually did in my other classes. But this taught me to be ready for any challenge I faced. I listened to the feedback that was given and applied it to my next paper, and then my next, until I began to with prep support and lessons, I was able to attend the best school in New York, Bucky Country Day School. When I first came to Buckley, I was worried I was going to be welcome. Almost everyone played sport both inside and outside of school, while I had really never played any sports. But despite my words, everyone was very welcoming. Even though they didn't know me as well, my classmates accepted me and guided me along the way. My new teachers also challenged me and pushed me to continue to try my best. Buckley became my second family. With all my friends' support, I could pick up a sport no matter how good, I, or good or bad I was at it, and I could adjust for it. So thinking back to my interview with Dr. Joel, I realized how important it is to acknowledge your families and your roots. They made you who you are and supported you along the way. Through times of uncertainty, and we're with you in your happiest moments. So again, my name is Angel X. Way Hernandez, and I am my mom and my dad. I am Prepper Prep, I am Buffy Country Day School, and thank you, Dr. Joel, Dr. Schlanger, faculty, and my fellow students for becoming my second family. Thank you, everyone.